Zero K fans, and welcome to the tournament recap stream for last week's tournament. Tournament, I believe it was September 21st. Yeah, I... This first tournament I haven't casted in a long time. So, or second tournament, I guess. I've been... Ugh, summer was not fun. Anyway, so we're going to be going to a bit of a recap. So how I normally do recap streams, I will go over one replay per round, just like if it was the actual tournament, because normally that's how I do it. So I'm not going to be going through every single replay of every single match throughout the tournament. I know some people do do that, and that's great. And if people want to do that, please go for it. But I'm just going to do it kind of as if I had been doing the tournament in the first place. So let's get started. First match we're going to have is going to be Gordon and Izzeride against Team Recursion, Google Frog, and Aquanim on Iceland. Starting out already, we have spiders and gunships coming in from... From Golden Izzeride, very rapidly a bit aggressive. I mean, more of the blast wings, really. I don't. Are we using this for? Are we, are we cheesing Gota? Is that what we're doing here? I mean, it looks like there already is a plan to try to set up something over to the south side of the map for the northeast team. Recursion, on the other hand, going for light vehicles and shield bots, or rovers and shield bots, rather. So, a much more typical starting situation for recursion. But I'm honestly kind of curious what the strategy is for the Northeast team, for Golda and Izzeride, because they're clearly trying to do something sneaky. I mean, gunships and spiders are not an easy st set of factors to start out with if you want to have a consistently strong opening. But at the same time, good use of blast wings is still going to be devastating to your opponent's economy, and this is Golda we're talking about here. So, one of the strongest players, if not the strongest player in 0k, they probably know what they're doing. And actually, they would say they are. Blasting's coming in here already. Getting rid of one, two metal extractors. Almost getting rid of a third. Definitely getting rid of two in the main base. So already, Recursion is a bit behind. Though, to be fair, they are fighting back. And also, the Northeast team has not been building up as quickly as Recursion has been. The Recursion's been much more efficient as far as actually getting their metal extractors going. Northeast team, go to the Nizaride. They've... I mean, they're actually still behind in terms of static economy. Not to mention, Recursion now is a bit of reclaim to work with. So overall, Recursion's economy is actually stronger, even with the Blast Wing Assaults. Not to mention the rebuilding is going to be happening fairly quickly. Google Frog already coming in here, getting that last Metal Extractor rebuilt. So not a whole lot of damage was ultimately dealt. I mean, it was obviously disruptive. But at the same time, there comes a Scorcher to get in here. Get Maybe get rid of the Welder? It is possibly going... No, the Welder does manage to... No, it doesn't! No, it doesn't! Nice! I want to say Welder, I mean Weaver. Weaver does not manage to get away. Nice kill there. That will open things up a bit for the recursion to build up relatively faster. Although it's still a bit of an odd question. That one. Oh. Oh, that locust. That sad, sad locust. It's able to get away, but it's not really able to do all that much ultimately to defend. However, the Northeast team has managed to build up their economy reasonably strongly. Recursion. I mean, they're. Actually, surprisingly, not moving as much. Why is Aquanim not expanding? They could be expanding a lot more than they are. Not to mention this south side here, although I think... No, nothing's going on with that. The southwest is not being claimed at all. Same time, though, this is where I was th saying this is there's going to be some problems here. See, the thing is that right now, it, air is the only real threat. I mean, spiders do exist, but they aren't being used that much. So, all... Recursion needs to do is get a few crashes out there, and they're good. That's goal to entirely shut down. I mean, that's one of the reasons you don't see a huge amount of air starts, honestly, is that it's just really hard to make that work overall when your opponents can just build around that. That being said, the Northeast team does ultimately have a stronger economy just for building out a lot more. They're expanding a lot faster. They're claiming metal extractors more consistently. I... I'm actually kind of surprised we aren't seeing a little more expansion coming out here from Recursion, but now Recursion is much more focused on trying to get rid of Golda's Commander, much more focused on trying to get rid of some of the military coming in here, and there is forward expansion. We do see that the Northeast team has actually gotten themselves well set up to eliminate anything trying to come in. Actually, better yet, there come the Locusts over to the north side of the map to start taking care of all these metal extractors. Possibly get rid of Akonim's commander too, and Akonim realizing, seeing the writing on the wall, buries themselves just to avoid getting killed by those locusts. But it may not matter, only one of the metal extractors actually getting killed. Ultimately, one vandal comes in to save the day, the locusts do not want to deal with that. 
Same time, though, Flea is coming in over to the south side to get rid of the metallic tractors that were being built up. But ultimately not dealing... Well, actually, ultimately they are dealing some damage. Getting rid of one metallic tractor for basically a few fleas. Essentially free. Same time, though, over to the north side of the map. Golden Google Frog Commander fight. Coming in here, which I believe Google Frog is, has a slight advantage in. But it's very slight. And really, Google Frog not interested in taking that fight. Just interested in claiming the territory that they get from winning that fight. Same time, though, the fleas not continuing to assault. Just haven't got rid of the one metal extractor. And that's all they will do. But hey, again, Recursion is still slightly behind Northeast. They are still slightly behind Golden and Izzeride. So, they're... That rating is working out, and there's much more effective rating. The Mason goes down. That south side of the map is not going to be expanded to anytime soon by Recursion. And now the Locust coming in over to the south side of the map. Google Frog sees the writing on the wall, moves the Mason out of the way. But the Locusts are still going to be able to come in here and start getting rid of the Metal Extractors. And there aren't really any anti-air forces over here in the south side of the map anyway. Or the southwest side of the map, so... Oh man, Izzeride's going to... Or Goldie Rider's going to have a field day just getting rid of all these Metal Extractors, getting rid of anything built up at all over here and it actually is making recursion's job more and more difficult they were able to reclaim their way into a reasonably strong position but it's not great and ultimately the northeast team does have a stronger static economy they are gradually building up as well he's right's commander coming over to the south side just taking what they can and google frog in their hand i mean they're able to manage something in the center of the map, but really the south side has been so thoroughly taken over by the by the northeast team that there isn't really an expansion opportunities available for Google Frog and Aquanim. And they kind of have the north side, but the north side's somewhat locked down. Gold has been taking it more and more. South side they're trying to take, but it's just not really working out super well. So ultimately I'm not really sure how they're going to be able to do this other than just getting rid of the locusts and then building up. Which is clearly the attempt. But now we're seeing the Razor coming in here. That's going to be destroyed as soon as it opens up. There's too many forces coming in here. The Locusts are not going to be taking any damage. They are, however, going over to the north side of the map. And are they going to be doing anything real damage? Looks like yes. Yes, they will. They don't care anymore. Yeah, they're coming into the main base. Possible? No. Turning back. Wow, Gode is still really, really being cautious about this. Now, granted, that is how Gode plays. Gode has always been a very cautious player. They're not the kind of player to let their forces die for no good reason. Or, if they can help it, let their forces die at all, actually. That's always been how they played. They're very careful. They're consistently managing their units, consistently microing quite well. And this is no exception. But I think Golda realizes now they can just go in here and start taking out some of the metal extractors. Or, yeah, some of the metal extractors, some of the razors. I mean, there are enough locusts here. The razors really aren't a huge threat. But no, Golda's not going for it. Gota doesn't even want to lose the locusts needed to kill those razors and take that north side of the map. Now, to be fair, again, Gota and Israelite do have an economic advantage. They don't really need to push that hard. All they need to do is maintain what they have, continue expanding over to the south as well, and they've got that pretty well sorted. As long as they can keep that going, everything's fine. And on top of that, Thunderbird coming in here does actually get rid of quite a bit of the ground forces. The locusts are still fine, but Gota's commander is completely locked down. And that is going to be a huge blow. The Venom, however, trying to defend... Defends reasonably well. But that was a nice Thunderbird strike coming in there from Recursion. Still doesn't do a huge amount of damage, though. Google Frog able to at least get a little bit of reclaim off that Thunderbird. Did land in the right spot. Which is nice. But at the same time, we're seeing the north side of the map has lost everything. At the same time, the south side of the map, there go those Locusts. Taking out yet another constructor trying to build up the south side expansions. And again, yet another raid over to the south south southwestern metal extractors. Getting rid of all, all those with no razors to stop them or anything. And I mean, the way Gorda plays, one razor would do it. You don't have to be that defended just because Gorda is so afraid of losing their, their locusts. One razor will stop this assault. But we aren't even seeing that much. It's, I mean, it's just done. That's all there is to it. And with that, recursion now about half the economy of, of Golden and Izzeride. I'm not sure how long they're going to be able to last with this because right now, Golden and Izzeride, they have the entire map. Like, everything just belongs to them. Look at all that green and teal. It's just everywhere. So from there, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of options for recursion other than 
maybe, like I said, a slow expansion back. I mean, maybe just maybe if they rebuild that, build some razors around those expansions. Like, that's been the one thing consistently is the Locusts coming around here and wiping everything out. And there haven't been a lot of anti-air forces. And I don't think Google Frog and Aquanum are working on the idea that there is actually a way of stopping these Locusts. Because, like, the Locusts run away as soon as any resistance is found. Gorda does not want to risk losing them, so any anti-air will defend the base. But it looks more like Recursion is just trying instead to go for a counter raid, wipe out as much as they can of the Northeast team's assets, and then hope for the best from there. I mean, granted, they can get rid of several Locusts, and the ground forces are probably not going to be too big of a deal. Although, to be fair, that Venom, that Venom could be a problem. That Crab is going to be a problem now that it's been terraformed up. But hey, there's plenty of stuff outside of that crab that is still going to be very effective. Not to mention the fact that there are... Are there racketeers? Yes, there are racketeers. Get rid of the... the racketeer of the Venoms. Ironic enough, but it works. I mean, we aren't really going to see a whole lot of that going on right now. Just because that's not where the assault is. The assault's over to the south side of the map. Northeast team losing that recursion. Really wants that, south, that southern expansion set. I mean, clearly that is their main that has been their main goal this entire game. They just want that. They want it for themselves. And they are going to take it come hell or high water. They're gonna grab it. It's gonna be theirs. At least that's the impression I'm getting. That that is the message being sent here. Of course, the other message being sent here is Google Frog, you cannot keep your commander in here. Oof. Well, I guess you dig a hole in the ground, but that works too. But again, there goes the... Ooh, actually getting rid of Izzarite's commander, but that does eliminate most of the assault force coming in here. Back and forth from Aquanum coming in, but that is not nearly enough firepower to get rid of all these forces. The Locusts are pushing in. Golda knows it. They can get rid of all these Vandals, and with the Vandals gone, that should be it. I don't think Recursion really has any other forces on the field. They have a few bandits. They have a Merlin. Sorry, Impaler. Not a Merlin. Merlin's the Strider version. And that's it. Google Frog throws in the towel. It looks like Aquanum follows suit, and that is round one. Golda and Izzeride beating out Google Frog and Aquanim in their game. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to be going over one game from every round. So next one is going to be round two. And that one, we're going to be going seeing what happened in the match between 400 and Firepluck fighting Golda and Izzeride on random crags. So a couple of these actually involved random generation, which will be interesting to watch. Because every map is going to be different, even though we're only doing one of each. But yeah, so we'll be back with that in a couple minutes. Stay tuned.